Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a green screen tutorial, which has been not highly requested, but it is something that I got a lot of feedback on. Um, if you have seen one of my first videos, which is Left for Last, in the beginning clip, I actually use this technique and it's very, very easy to achieve. So I just wanted to show people how to do it and, you know, the possibilities are endless. You can really do so much with this. As you can see, I already have Sony Vegas open, and in my project media, I have a clip in which I demo smoothed and recorded. This is just a clip of Tank chasing me and throwing a rock, and then I went back and demo smoothed it. Um, in the sidebar, I will put a link to the download of this map. Right now, I'm just going to edit this clip really quick. I'm not really doing anything fancy, I just want to slow it down when Tank actually picks up a rock and throws it, so it adds a little more like drama to it. After you have your video edited the way that you want, to get rid of the green background, you click on the little plus sign in the bottom right hand corner of the clip that says Event Effects. After you click that, Look for something on the left side called Sony Chroma Keyer. After you've selected the Chroma Keyer, you need to change the top to pure green because this is a pure green background. Once you've done that, you can scroll down to the bottom and modify those settings however you wish. It just makes the picture clearer or blurry or however you want to modify it. Um, if you are using a pure green background, Really, you don't need to mess with any of the settings because it's fine the way that it is, but if by all means you want to blur it or make it more clear, go right ahead. At the top, I'm saving this as a green screen template, so whenever I go back and do other green screen footage, I already have this template saved so that it just kind of saves time. I don't have to really modify anything. Now I need a background, because clearly having a black background is not very flattering. I'm going to be using the same background that I used in my Left for Last video. Just a very simple gradient, and then at the bottom it says Evie's Entertainment. Right here I am clicking the pan crop because my image is not filling the resolution. So I'm going to change the ratio to 16.9 to fit that properly. And here's the final product. I hope this tutorial was beneficial and hopefully people can start creating some pretty cool things. I have not found the same map for Left 4 Dead 2. I don't know if that's being converted. I personally don't know how to convert the map over to Left 4 Dead 2. I've converted all of my campaign maps, but I haven't been able to do the green screen. I'm sure you could probably convert your models over from Left 4 Dead 2 to Left 4 Dead and then use those models on this map in Left 4 Dead 1. But I really don't want to mess up my files, so I'll wait until this gets modified for Left 4 Dead 2. This has been another tutorial, and stay tuned for more. See you later. Bye.